Hello, everybody. Thank you, as always, for watching the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Please subscribe, like, share this episode if you would. Leave a comment. And uh, if you want to contact me, you can do so by uh, going to American Doofus, all one word, at gmail.com. Uh, this is the story of Hunter Britton. Um, Hunter was... Um, fatally shot June 23rd by a uh, Lenoki County Sheriff uh, during a traffic stop outside of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas in a suburb. Um, he was killed about 3 a.m. outside a local uh, auto body or auto repair shop, as I said, where he and a friend uh, had been working on his vehicle. Um, he was shot during a traffic stop he was taken to uh, Little Rock Hospital and um, he later died. Uh, later that day, the uh, County Sheriff's Office identified the deputy as uh, Sergeant Michael Davis and said he'd been placed on administrative leave uh, pending the outcome of an investigation. Eight days later on July 1st, the sheriff announced he'd fired Davis because the deputy didn't activate his body camera in a timely way during the traffic stop in violation of department policy. As a result, no footage of the shooting exists, uh, the sheriff said in a, a video. Why is this um, unique? Well, it's a 17 year old white boy and uh, he had a friend with him who's the only witness in the case. And uh, this case has been taken up by um, Ben Crump, who is, uh, Al Sharpton has called him Black America's Attorney General. So uh, Al Sharpton gave a eulogy at uh, for Hunter Britton uh, last Tuesday. Why? Um, well, Crump believes that, that this um, bringing notoriety to the 17 year old's death could push lawmakers in Washington DC to pass the uh, George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, uh, which quickly passed the house and uh, has been stalled by uh, Republican senators uh, in the United States Senate. Um, as you know, Crump, uh, represented Breonna Taylor. He represented George Floyd. Um, I think he might have even represented Michael Brown. Um, he came and spoke uh, for um, Andrew Brown Jr. in uh, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Um, and Al Sharpton has eulogized in, uh, in many of those uh, same locations, and uh, Al Sharpton gave the eulogy last Tuesday um, for Hunter Britton. And uh, Crump says this is going to be looked at differently because he wasn't a teenager who was a child of color, because we've always said that our white brothers and sisters couldn't fathom their child being killed by police, that people are supposed to protect them, that that's what white people think, that White people think that police are supposed to protect children, but that's a reality that parents of children of color literally deal with every day of their lives. Um, in his eulogy, Sharpton said the issue of policing is not about black and white. It's about right and wrong. Um, Britain's death has sparked protests and um, outside of the local sheriff's office, as well as a uh, state proposal for something called Hunter's Law. Um, there's a petition calling for officers and sheriff's deputies to wear and activate body-worn cameras during their entire shift. And uh, that petition has already gained uh, thousands of signatures. Uh, the George Floyd Act also contains a provision requiring body cameras and calls on federal law enforcement officers to activate them when responding to calls or initiating a stop um, at the first reasonable opportunity uh, to do so. Now, this is what we know about the killing. Um, young Hunter was driving home with a friend and was pulled over by uh, Sergeant Davis. Um, 
Britain's car would not shift into park and they had been working on uh, the transmission in the uh, auto shop that they had just pulled out of. Uh, his car would not shift into park. So when he stepped out of the vehicle, he put a quote, large bright blue plastic bottle of antifreeze. It was an antifreeze bottle actually had water in it uh, behind the tire to prevent the car from rolling backward towards the, uh, the sheriff's vehicle. Uh, as, he, as he bent down, as he took the can and bent down to put it behind the tire, uh, the sheriff shot him three times. Uh, the witness is um, a young man named Jordan King. And um, he said he and, and, and Hunter had uh, been changing the transmission in Britain's truck and they had to drive the uh, car home despite it not being able to go into park. Um, when they left the auto shop, Davis pulled them over uh, Britain placed a blue jug behind the truck's tires uh, to stop it from hitting Davis's car. King says the sheriff's deputy then fired his gun without telling Hunter to step uh, to stop or get out of get on the ground or anything. They didn't say one word that I know of. This is a quote. They didn't say one word that I know of. I didn't hear it, and it happened so fast, according to King. Uh, King then goes on to say uh, the sheriff told me to get out with my hands up and pull my shirt up and stuff, and then took me to the ground, put me in handcuffs and was dragging me around and stuff. And then I sat in the back of the cop car for about three hours. Um, the family of um, Hunter Britton is uh, looking for answers. And according to uh, a report on CNN, actually, um, there's not been one, one single thing released. And uh, so this has been taken up by Ben Crump and by Al Sharpton. Um, there will be those in, in both the white and the black community that think this is outrageous. Um, there will be those that think um, this is a really good thing. And, and those of us that are trying to work towards peace and unity um, this could be a really good thing. It could help to pass laws um, just by drawing attention to the fact that it is not, um, it is not just about, um, about any one community that, that could potentially be impacted. Um, since January of this past year, since January 1st, there have been 156 white people and 102 black people uh, killed by the police according to the site mapping police violence. Um, 14 unarmed white people, six unarmed black people killed by police this year according to the, the data. And uh, this includes uh, chokeholds, batons, uh, tasers or other means. Um, now, the black community makes up about 14% of the US population, but yet they are three times more likely to be killed by police than white people. And white people account for 76% of the population. There are those that are immediately going to say, well, that's because black people are more violent, black people commit crime, that's why all this happened. And, and that's, not, that's not necessarily the truth. What we do know to be the truth is it happens and it happens in all communities. And um, and police are there to protect and serve, um, not to, to be judge, jury, and, and prosecutor all in, in one act. Um, and again, that's just, again, it's just something to think about. Is this going to be a good thing? Is this even going to, to, um, to spark any interest? Um, I don't know, we'll find out. Um, Al Sharpton said, that uh, he wasn't sure what he was going to find when he, when he arrived in uh, Arkansas uh, to do the eulogy. And uh, I, I want to end with his quote here. Um, he said it was worth taking the risk. He said there might have been 400 people there and maybe 20 of them were black. And uh, he said they gave him five or six standing ovations. And that showed that it's a real possibility. That, this is a quote. It showed that this is a real possibility of us bridging a real police accountability moment. 
um, and have this movement be based on, on uh, the differences of races and classes. And um, Sharpton ended by saying, uh, as I said in the, in the eulogy, if Hunter had been a rich white guy and another part of the white community, would they have shot him like that? Just something to think about. There'll be those that um, agree with, with Al Sharpton and Ben Crump taking on this case, if you will. There will, there will be those that question uh, why they are doing so. And uh, we don't tell you um, what to think or how to think. We just give you things to think about. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Again, if you'd like to contact the show, you can do so, American Doofus, all one word at gmail.com. If you'd like to help support the show, that's always appreciated. And the easiest way to do it is through the Cash App, dollar sign American Doofus. Again, all one word, A M E R I C A N D U F U S. Please, if you haven't subscribed, consider hitting the uh, subscription button. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when an episode is coming out. Uh, I thank you again for watching. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so very much. It's a dark world. Do try to be a light, but don't be a doofus.